Can cats sense energy? Cats are animals with poses, unique and distinct characteristic traits and behavioral patterns, so much so that there are many myths surrounding the species, stating that cats absorb negative or bad energies. One of the main example of these is the popular saying that belief that a black cat bringing bad luck, which in fact both untrue and unjustified. There are many superstitions which state that cats hold sp spiritual pull, spiritual pull, spiritual powers so strong that many believe th them to be a guardian animal. But is it true that cats can absorb negative energy? Animals wise, we have analyzed the organ of the statement that decided to explain to you why these myths originated and what they really mean. What can cats see? Cats are incredibly sensitive to the environment's stimulation. This sensitivity influences their inter interactions with other cats, humans, and other animals. However, does that really mean that cats can perceive people's energies spectacularly if they are bad? You surely heard the concept that cats are capable of perceiving fear in people, and this claims is particularly true. Cats perceive energy and moods in humans and other cats. This adrenaline, these factors are Pres present by people who, for example, are suffering from anxiety, fear, and stress. In this case, cats will often avoid these people. Here we speak of bad energy and more of psychological concept rather than spiritual. Cats hold an adaptive response directly related to their survival instincts. Cats are unlikely perspective and for this reason, if your cat is hiding from you, another person, it may be because they are sensing something negative. Do cats sleep where there is bad energy? The bad energies are often spoken about as a spiritual concept, which is somewhat concern, controversial issue, which lacks logical evidence. This bad energy that we speak of instead highlight the idea of people who dislike cats or animals. Like we already mentioned, cats can psychologically sense the dislike through the body language and phenomenons, and therefore they avoid it. Stop throwing things, naughty cat can go there. Our cat's healers. It's non -con coincidence 
that in many cultures, ancient Egypt, for example, cats are considered to hold healing powers. They are capable of absorbing bad energy. The ancient Egyptians believed is supported by the fact that a cat is incredibly hygienic and can be used to control vermin. But not only did cats clean themselves metamucously, uh, but also kept Egyptian homes clean of rats or vermin throughout history of their domestication. Since rats were considered carriers of disease and bad energy, felines were granted the statue of healer representation by the goddess Bastel or Bast, in fact, important Egyptian delti was symbolic of human and home protection. Additionally, no one is the goddess of happiness and harmony. Are cats spiritual protectors? In many cultures such as China and Japan, cats are considered a spiritual guardian. In these cultures, cats are symbolic of good luck. A very particular example in Japanese cat, Maneki Niko, that is said to move away bad spirits and attract good fortune. Cats in these cultures are therefore popular legends and strongly rooted in popular cultures, though favoring their respect and promoting cat adoption. Do cats have healing powers? If we understand healing energies as the power of cats sense towards the emotional state of people, this detection of disease, the ability to detect odor and simile through their powerful sense, then yes, cats are animals with special powers. Are you thinking about cats absorbing bad energy. Cats increasingly, as many seem, are simply living beings and have nothing to do with the absorption of good or bad energy. For the reason, if you're considering a cat solely with intention of absorbing bad energies, we suggest you reconsider doing this. Cats are extremely sensitive and spectac spectacular animals, but in no case while efficient against evil eyes or bad energy. If you choose to keep a cat, it should be for love and passion that you feel towards these animals, but never as a way of simply fighting against or in favor of magic.